Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to see how we can use shared trading module in our Math ERP software. So for shared trading, you can create unlimited companies. So for creating companies, we'll go to File Companies. In here, we can create a new company. For example, I have already created two companies. One is Max Enterprise, and second one is Max Traders. So I can enter in any of those companies. Either I can go to File, Switch Company, and I can choose which company I want to log in, or I can just go to Log Out while entering username and password. So here I can choose the company which I want to enter, and then we'll state the time and the server time as well, and then we'll just proceed. So next in the Masters. Account master. We can create a bank account, broker's account, or capital account as well. So, for example, I'm creating a broker account. Group will be created. In here, we can enter the details as well, and state would be mandatory. And we'll just save. Next, we can create a bank account as well. And then we can save. Next, if we go to master's account list and click on show, we can see all the Account which we have created in the account master, even our data, data, bank account, census accounts as well. And if we click on options, click on account group, we can select any account group. If I want to see my data, just up here. And I can see all my data here. Next, if we go to share trading script master, here we can see all our companies which are listed in BSC and NSC. And if there is any new company which has been added in BSC or NSC, we can just click on download BSC NSC list and click on proceed. So we can see new company here as well. We can even enter our script name which has not been defined. And here I have to enter the BSC code. And if I have any closing date for this, I can mention here. And then we can just save. Here we have one more option called delete unused. If there is any script which are not in use for you, you can just click on delete unscript. So it will delete the script which are not, which is not be used in all the transactions by you. Next, if you go to share trading, opening share holdings. Here we can see our opening shares. Here you can enter your opening share holdings. And if you have multiple companies, so your for each company you can maintain that. So for the enterprise, I have opening shares here. And for trading, no opening shares. So I can even add your shares. You already have to enter the quantity. Its weight. And then we can just save. Next, if we go to share trading, share contract. So here we can enter all our buying and selling. So the, here you have to mention the settlement number according to the broker's receipt. And next the broker name. Here you have to enter the script name. Whether it is an intraday or delivery. So if it's in an intraday, buy. And if there is any broker's percentage. We can have so for intraday you have to mention the selling also in the same reference. So as I am selling my Canada Bank, which I have mentioned in the opening balance, so the quantity is 70, adjusted here. Here we can see the total amount, it is in negative, that means this much amount the broker has to pay you and if there is any other additional expenses, we can mention it here and then we can just save. Next, if you go to share trading, share application, so if you are applying for any shares, you can enter it here. Second, you have to select the script name. How much is the amount you have paid for the application and we can just save. Next if you go to share trading, share allotment. Next you have to select the script name. So we can see there is one application reference detail and how much quantity you can mention here for how much amount and we can just save. Next if you go to share trading, 
share is refund if there is any share refund you can mention here so you have to mention the bank name the strip name and the amount and now if you go to share trading share split so here we can enter any share split which is done by the companies so for example and then proceed so automatically it fetches from the share contract then here you have to mention the end what is the purchase date and then we will just save next if you go to share trading share bonus here you can enter your share bonus so if the company has scheme like if you are holding more than 10 shares you have one share quantity free here you can mention that free quantity for example for asian pings if you have 100 quantities right quantities is free and then we can just save so next we are going to see the reports so in the share trading share holding register if we click on show we can see all our script names here if we double click on this we can see detailed manner of the script we can even see the reports of all our companies so if you go to option sell it all then ok apply so we can quote the companies here and even we can see it in a detailed type next if you go to share trading share contract register click on show and if you click on option select all the companies and apply here we can see all the companies which we have brought the shares and how much has been sold with the broker's name so here we can see for max traders we have mutual funds whereas for max enterprise we have given the broker's name as cash next if you go to share trading script ledger and click on show so here we can see all the scripts here with what is the buying quantity buying rate and buying amount where with that selling amount and selling rate and selling quantity and the profit as well so next if you go to share trading share profit loss so here we can see the profit of all the like, scripts whether it is an intraday or short term or a long term script if we go to share trading share trading summary and click on show so it will show all our opening quantity buying selling and closing quantity with the profit as well next if we go to share trading trading analysis and click on show so here we can see monthly purchases sales and the monthly profit next if we go to share trading portfolio analysis and click on show so here we can see our script name the average rate average amount and the market rate and market value but for asian paints and canara bank there is no market value shown because in the script master we have to define their bsc and nsc code so if you go to share trading script master here we have to mention their bsc or nsc code so that the market value is linked linked there so for Asian paints we can get with us and then we can just save so if we close and if we click on download rates it will download the market rates after the closing of the day and you can see here the market rate and market value so next if we go to accounts we can even make the receipts and payments here so that's it for today's session guys thank you